Welcome back, folks. Thank you for joining. This has taken quite a while for me to actually get back to, but um, finally, fashion has been built and it's ready to share. Um, um, I'm going to try to, <clears throat> I say this every time, I'm going to try to keep this short. So I'm just going to give like a brief kind of summary of what I was going for with each one of these. And, uh, just show off like alternate maybe arms or chests or something that might work with it and honestly this might be one of the last for honor videos you see for me for a while um unless i don't know like nobushi gets a buff or something in the future i might try it out but i do really just want to get back into doing like a full-on let's play you know i i'm i have a craving for it i have an itch for it so i'm 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 really wanting to just put for honor on the back burner for a while and try out some other games with that said thank you so much for joining thank you i hope you enjoyed the the nobushi grind to rep 80 it took oh it took a lot out of me but rep 80 where where we've made it and i don't i don't plan on really playing any other characters like i don't have as much fun playing any other characters in this game as i do with nobushi unfortunately she's not a great character so it does feel like bashing your head into a wall a little bit this first fashion i kind of uh the idea was kind of like a, a soul um, catcher or like she 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 hunts evil spirits or something and, and traps them. I don't know. And I, like I was going kind of whimsical, like the idea was just like a super goofy character and she likes like playing with spirits and stuff like that. I don't know. But um, and I think it's kind of the the ornament gave me that idea with like the smiling kind of masks. And I just imagined these were like trapped spirits flowing through her hair. So I tried to get a a palette that would match with the, you know, like hair coming out of the helmet. And I like the idea that it is actually her hair. Looks super goofy and kind of like silly coming out of the front of the helmet. But yeah, I only have a pattern here the powerful protection three from the fortunate for kuro anima outfit i believe that's a twenty thousand steel uh illustrious that's the one with the owl but yeah you don't really need to put anything on it like it looks fine without and i like it you better see the trim that is coming from your palette once again and it just matches perfectly with that Aegean and it's cool I like the chimera arms with this because that also takes your both your palette and your uh, material color into effect now the second one this one I uh, really I started with the mask on this one let me tell you about this mask the Sagami helm I think is extremely, extremely cool. I have the um, the firewood material on, and it kind of makes this m mask shiny, which is kind of weird because without the material, it's just like a flat, it's just like a flat white, right? And it kind of does that with every with every material you put on. It makes it dingy, but now it's not like a shiny, even though this is a shiny material, it doesn't make the mask shiny for whatever reason. Firewood for some reason is the only one that kind of gives it that kind of flat shine, but you have to go with like a dark palette. And it, like, if you go with a light one, like, super vibrant, it makes it almost, like, uh, cell shaded. It looks really, um, what's the word? Dramatic, right? Rather than, like, let's say I put this on, take off the material. 
right? That doesn't look quite as dramatic, but you put that dark undertone and it looks, there's like that contrast, right? It looks really cool. But uh, yeah, you kind of have to, I mean, you don't have to go dark, but the the more I started to build this one, the more I started, like Mokujin was kind of what I was feeling at first because it is just like a wood mask looks pretty cool but then as i kept going and i have the messenger's wings on it was giving me tenju from dead or alive uh dead or alive 2 i don't know if he's in the first one but it's just like all brown with like the white wings and i really like that look it looks really cool honestly i started with this one with the torchlight and if you take the if you take the pattern off of the torchlight, it just looks fantastic. Take the pattern off and change the change the palette. I really like this mask because you like your if you do put a palette or a a pattern on the mask, it goes underneath the paint that's already on the mask, which I think more more uh, outfits, more materials, or what am I saying? More gear should do that, in my opinion. Yeah, like this looks really cool. And it matches the, uh, yeah, just black and gold. Can't go wrong, can't go wrong. But yeah, I've been, as you can see, I've been playing around a little bit, just looking at what might work best. I mean, the torch light is cool, but I, I really, I really love the uh, firewood with this one. And I think the pattern is just the blending one. You know, you know how I like this blending one. I'm a huge fan. Yeah, and it doesn't really like make it shiny with non-blending. Right? If it's too dark, it doesn't blend well enough. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I have the Assassin's Creed event, Father of Understanding. <laughs> palette honestly if you don't have it um you might just have to build a different palette you know that's fine like a lot of these darker ones are going to look good with this firewood underneath uh, even some of these lighter ones look pretty cool as well you know um just building that contrast on top of that mask like that th this mask is just like it's everything for me with this with this build like it is everything everything else is like supplementary but this this mask is it i kind of like how this looks with the uh Sioki arms as well it also looks pretty good with uh you can play around with the with the materials you know like this one just kind of lends itself to way more you know whatever you're feeling you can just switch it up put whatever you want on top of whatever you know like look at that pink on top of the blue and this one too it almost looks like frosted like the face is frosted like that's just it's just there's a lot to play around with on this one and it kind of reminds me of when i was doing the warlord fashion builds and i just had too much <laughs> too much uh variability with some of the some of the sets right like you can kind of go anywhere with it now for this fucking <laughs> this is what honestly took the longest for me i got this new material the wild berry reputation 80 and i'm like i gotta do something with it you know i gotta do something and this is honestly kind of the best i could do with it i'm not gonna lie it's kind of the best i could do i would even take this ornament off i'm not a huge fan of the ornament on this one but it adds a little bit of something it's not really necessary but it's there it's there if i build any more with nobushi maybe in the future i will uh share them but for the time being I'm gonna work on some other games, you know. I want, I want to do a let's play. I want to do Baldur's Gate. I still need to play Dragon's Dogma. I bought the game, still haven't been able to play it. I, I haven't had time. 
and then Star Wars KOTOR, the first one. That's one that I've been meaning to play for so long, and I'm actually really excited about it. And I want to try to just do a pew pew shooter shooter playthrough on like the hardest difficulty. I don't know why, I've, like I've never done anything like that, but it just seems so challenging and it seems like it would be a really good time. I started making a theme song for it a long time ago. You guys might have seen that video when I was like, oh, KOTOR is coming soon. Mm, that was like two years ago, <laughs> three years ago maybe. Um, but it's always been in the back of my mind. So for honor, we're going to take a break for a while. But thank you all for joining. I really appreciate it. Um, if you started playing Nobuji because of me, I am sorry, and I hope you're having fun. <laughs> I apologize, but uh, keep your head up. Hopefully, buff soon. Hopefully. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you're staying healthy, hydrated, motivated, and you know where to find me. I'll be here. I'll be doing this, man.